father of our fathers. Help me lead my men well. Do not let me dishonor my legion. Please help me regain my family's honor. How are you, Mr. Jamie? I'm really well. Really well. Good seeing you. That's great. Nice seeing you too. Now, what attracted you to the role of Eska? I, I under, understand there's a cultural connection between the two of you. To a degree. <clears throat> I mean, geographically, we're kind of from the same place, kind of. Um, but for me, it was more the story, um, which is kind of a very old-fashioned story, but still a very prominent one, a very moving one as well. Um, uh, the script reminded me of a film called The Defiant Ones, which is a great story about these two kind of enemies, bitter enemies kind of attached to each other who go on this journey and have to learn something from each other in order to kind of separate from each other and learn something about themselves. And and I saw a lot of sim similarities to that. Um, there's also great tension in the film. Right. The ride of going to this unknown place, this very dangerous and treacherous land that is the kind of frontier of the known world at this time. That was incredibly exciting, and, you know, and, and then the thrill ride of the chase at the end of the film, it just had a lot of components to it as a story that I was really interested in. Isn't it interesting that Kevin McDonald's movie, like The Eagle, or The Last King of Scotland, it, it's all about the cultural clash. Two men oh, with two different oh, no, backgrounds. Sure. You know, it's that's well identified. I think Kevin McDonald's film are usually uh, about two men in landscape and and certain personal struggles or physical struggles. I mean, right. I think in this film we have all of that. You know, uh, and also as a documentary filmmaker, even though he's he's made many features, I think he still kind of comes from. Uh, that place of, of documentaries where everything has to feel real and authentic and visceral and and I appreciated the way he brought all those things to this period you know and, and, and this uh, the idea of a, a, a swords and sandals kind of film feeling real was important it is the place of heroes how dare you you're still my slave and you'll be dead in the ditch with I'll me I'll your miserable life <laughs> I think that when you're playing characters who have to do something uh, physical, whether it be fighting or whatever, I think you, you, you always kind of draw from how your character would fight instead of Jamie the, the, Jamie the dancer just being right. able to kind of fight well. So we wanted to differentiate the way we fought. I think Esker is a much more kind of visceral, aggressive, instinctual fighter, um, whereas Ch Channing's style is very military. It's, it's right. conformist, it's formal, you know. How did you and Channing bond in making the film? We, we got along really well. I mean, the, the film is pretty much just me and him on this journey, you know, so it was important that we kind of, you know, were good friends, uh, and we were. It was kind of instantaneous. Um, and also, uh, we, we needed to kind of keep each other going through a very kind of difficult and ambitious shooting schedule, so it was... Uh, we were very competitive with each other, you know, um, kept each other going, and Channing does all of his own stunts, which kind of meant that I kind of had to do all my own stunts as well, because you couldn't, you know, not do it. <laughs> um, which is good fun, and um, we just kind of, we kept each other going, which is great. What's the biggest challenge in making the film? There's lots. Physically, for me, between the horses, the language that I had to speak, Eska speaks his own native language, um, the, 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 the mechanics of the relationship, because as much as the relationship is about friendship, ultimately, it's also a lot about betrayal and mistrust right. Right. and culture clash and everything like that. So the workings of the dynamics uh, of the relationship were just as difficult as all the physical stuff. I thought you were going to say eating a rat is the biggest challenge. That was pretty gross. <laughs> that was, I think I just blocked that out. Somehow. Right. But good luck again. Congratulations. Thank, on the thank you, sir. Good seeing you.